Und da sind wir auch schon wieder bei einer weiteren Folge The Invincible. Und wir gehen jetzt direkt rein in den Tunnel. Musste leider in der letzten Folge so ein kleiner Cliffhanger sein, aber wir waren gerade schon bei der richtigen Zeit. Ich bin gespannt. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Ich lasse mir Zeit, keine Sorge. I don't understand you, sir. The audio is breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Bin gespannt, was wir gleich sehen werden. Sehr, sehr gespannt. Aber das könnte eine der ersten richtigen Antworten sein in diesem Spiel. Das muss einer von den Robotern sein, die das Material reinliefern sollten. Können wir hier irgendwo? No. No. I'm better now. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took yeah. them but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Ja, der immer auch keinen Bock mehr, wa? Leer gepflückt. So the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Können wir ihn vielleicht anhalten? Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. Ja, anquatschen kann ich auch nicht, ne? Ich suche den Standort. Naja, da haben sie wahrscheinlich in die Kisten das reingepackt. Dann gehen wir mal weiter. Ja, überall haben sie versucht, die Pflanzen zu bergen. Weiter, Jasna, komm. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Okay. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Metal bushes growing out of metal. Metal bushes from metal earth. That's one way of putting it. So all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Alles aus Metall und hier ist noch eine Leiche. Scheiße. Vielleicht wurden sie von den Pflanzen angegriffen. Doktor, wenn es 
it's all metal. Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds similar. Krass. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Or perhaps it's... Looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... Oh, grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous. Especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Mm. Yes, man. Are you abandoning your profession? All you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. Ich bin einfach gerade weiter geradeaus. Einfach weiter geradeaus. Warum nicht? Jetzt läuft er raus. Ich bin so verwirrt. Folge dem Aktan. Ja, würde ich ja gerne. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. No, you must have done something. Never mind. We're trying to let her go. First of all, get out of there now. Huh, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Merkwürdig. Einfach nur merkwürdig. Was sind diese Pflanzen? Was machen diese Pflanzen? Greift die einen an oder so? Oder haben die irgendwelche Strahlungsauswirkungen? Ähm. Wir haben es nicht mal in der Hand, glaube ich. Aber er schießt, warum schießt er nicht? Er hat doch eine Wärmebildkamera. Of successful missions. Are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimat? He decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive yeah, myself. Of, no, yeah. Neither do I expect you to. Marit? 
She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Also, er wollte nur hier erforschen, was passiert ist. So, what do we do now? Ja, wir gehen zu Megis. Let me send Hopper for you. I, I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. Das sind wir jetzt gerade, ne? Aber warum hat er nicht auf uns geschossen, wenn er alle anderen doch abgemetzelt hat? Warum? You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Alter. Mal eben, mal eben ausgelöscht. It's cool down. Dann gehen wir hier mal rein. Da ist der Rover. Aber warum? Wurde vielleicht der Anti-Match, wurde, wurde der vielleicht irgendwie auch durch diese Vision, die sie ja auch hat, da irgendwie vielleicht auch irgendwie beeinflusst oder so? Kann das sein? Kann das sein? Wäre das möglich? Actually, it's right in front of me. I'm in the rover. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them. So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site. Separated the material. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla gear, over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor. These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. Mm. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating okay. in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Oh, Slow okay. down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light. Shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? Navigate. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? 
Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. So let's go for my crewbots grouping and flying together. Die in Gruppen fliegen. Flies, capable of affecting other machines. Even to the point mm. that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out. Partially, at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field. The field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Mm -hmm. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. Hmm, I Most probably. Yeah. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? Um. Vielleicht. I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language, their past, our voyages together. Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Krass. Okay, dann sind das also die, die Metalle, die wir da gefunden haben, die können sich halt zusammenrotten. Wirklich eigene, ich sag mal, Tiere ja nicht, aber ein, einzelne Gebilde, kleine Mini-Roboter quasi draus, also Schwärme draus machen. Daher eben halt diese Fliegen. Und die können durch ihr elektromagnetische Signal eben halt dann die, die Menschen verwirren, töten dann im Zweifelsfall. Oder dann eben halt auch Maschinen beeinflussen. Das ist natürlich krass. Das ist natürlich richtig krass. Das ist natürlich krass. Tja, Junge, ich muss dich leider... Kann ich hier noch was machen? Ich wirklich, ne? Ich glaube, ich muss raus. Wir müssen den Behälter finden mit den Fliegen. Weil ich glaube, hier kommen wir nämlich nicht raus mit dem Wagen. Hier können wir, glaube ich, nicht weiterfahren. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. Befallen, ne? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Come here, right? That's all. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. in <sighs> the whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes but can you see past them not quite yet they were already off the fresh novice all seat now I can see broken containers. Now he's in all the kaput. 
No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Mm. Just like the fruits. Yeah. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. Mortuus evolutio. Mm. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. Mm. And the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Yeah. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Anergobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Anergobot. Well, look carefully. Anergobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ja, okay. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Ich glaube, ich weiß auch, wo dieser Eingang ist. Den hatte ich gesehen vorne. Dahinter, dahinter geht's gleich rechts. Ich denke mal, da kommen wir runter. Da oben rechts, da geht es glaube ich lang. Krass. Also wie gesagt, das sind eigentlich im Prinzip alles Tiere, aber halt aus Metall. Ja, die halt ein bisschen anders funktionieren, die halt auf ihre, auf ihre Art und Weise natürlich dann äh, die Umgebung beeinflussen können. Maschinen beeinflussen können, die hier Metall wegfressen. Das können ja im Prinzip so solche Fliegen sein hier. Vielleicht ist es auch einfach nur ein Verteidigungsmechanismus der, der Erde, wollte ich schon fast sagen, des Planeten. Auf die Art und Weise kann sich der Planet zur Wehr setzen. Vielleicht in dem Moment, wo man ja vielleicht dann auch diese Metallstrukturen vielleicht abgebaut hat, vielleicht hat sich der Planet dadurch angegriffen gefühlt und dadurch hat natürlich dann die ganzen Pflanzen und Fliegen, die haben natürlich dann angefangen, äh, äh, ich sag mal, den, den, äh, haben, haben natürlich angefangen, sich zu verteidigen entsprechend. Das kann sein.
astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. The registry could be ah, valuable. Ah, especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, come here, little proby. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Oh, Inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll mm. have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. So here showing me up, no? Is the probe still weak? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Okay, wollen wir jetzt hier drin noch? Was haben wir denn hier drin? Oder soll ich nur mal gucken? Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. Yeah. Send shivers down your spine. What's on there? But here, I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. They were left to fend for themselves. Can we hear what's on? Unable to do so. This one man. He even ate parts of his suit, trying to survive. Hmm. Yeah, ganz toll. Gönnen wir uns mal den Transporter. Mal gucken, wo wir damit hinfliegen können. Ich glaube, da geht es nicht lang, ne? Nee, da eher weniger. Dann müssen wir da wahrscheinlich da irgendwie hoch. Da sieht es zumindest danach aus, wenn wir da längs, längs sollen. Aber auch das machen wir nicht mehr in dieser Folge. In diesem Sinne, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen, fürs dabei sein. Und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge. Wir werden Invincible wieder. Macht es gut. Bis dann. Tschüss.